You saw nothing. Hi, it's Tuesday. You're watching Tasty Tuesday. Show sure, it's Tuesday. Try to make something tasty. Sometimes it works. Speaking of sometimes it working, these fuck perfect necklaces are on sale now. I'm so excited. I've been wanting to share these with you since my wedding when I first talked about them being a bracelet that I gave all my bridesmaids. A lot of you have requested it. And yeah, if you haven't watched the video where I said I started my own jewelry line, I started my own jewelry line. It's called Kittens and Coffee, and you can follow us on Instagram. My first jewelry set launched last month. It was a rose quartz cat necklace and earring set, and those sold out immediately. I'm gonna put a link in the description if you want one of these necklaces. You should get them like pretty much now. You should get them now. Back to today's recipe. I made poutine on last week's Tasty Tuesday and pissed off a lot of Quebecians for a multitude of different reasons. I just, I was unaware of all of the parameters of making poutine. It was really good. If you want to make it, you, whatever it is that I made last week, it's good. So make that. This week, I wanted to make croissants because I had quite a few of them while I was in Montreal. And just goddamn, I mean, the French Canadians who were originated from France, I'm assuming, uh, they just do croissants so well. It's just like I had them at the Starbucks and they were like way better than the Starbucks here. Then I found a hack for making croissants using puff pastry. Supposedly, it's super easy doing it this way. Also, I'm afraid I'm gonna piss off the French Canadians again <laughs> with this week's Tasty Tuesday. And I'm sorry, but fuck perfect, you know? I just can't, I'm not like you. I can't do it right. I can't do it all authentically. So then, because the recipe is super easy, supposedly, one of the suggestions for fillings for the croissants in this recipe was Nutella. And I remembered I have this whole bag of hazelnuts from when we made whiskey hazelnut ice cream a few weeks ago. And I was like, whoa, could I make my own Nutella? And yeah, I found a recipe for like a healthier Nutella using all like natural ingredients. So we're gonna find out today, are these hacks easy? Does it taste like Nutella? Do Does this taste like croissants? Is anything real? Let's make this dish! Step one, the first thing it says to do with this puff pastry, because I just took this out of the freezer, so we're gonna thaw these, but we gotta take them out of the packaging and lay them flat. Excuse me, excuse me. I'm gonna put you over here. Cool, those are just gonna chill right there. Do your thing. So let's get started on this Nutella, eh? Canada having an influence on me. So we're gonna preheat our oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit to roast our nuts. Boom. We're gonna take two cups of hazelnuts, which when I poured them into my measuring cup, I had exactly, exactly two cups of hazelnuts. This was meant to happen. That's hazelnut. You hear that? Party. I probably didn't need to spread them on two baking sheets. What was I thinking? Why do I love dishes so much? I guess we have to wait for our oven to heat up. I was shopping at Home Depot earlier for a future DIY that's coming out very soon. Um, but I was shopping at Home Depot and this lady asked me if I worked there. That's what this aesthetic is and you know what? I don't hate it. And to answer her question, no, I do not work at Home Depot but I do know a lot about hardwood. Wow, I would have killed it as an 80s stand-up comic. Born in the wrong time. Okay, my oven just beeped at me, so we're gonna put these nuts in our in, inside of it. What? You got it. Six to eight minutes. Get them nice and toasted. Oh my good lord, that's hot. I'll see you in six to eight minutes. My oven beeped at me, or it, not the oven. The timer beeped at me. Also, I started doing the next step with the croissants and I'm so sorry, I just got really antsy and I got excited and I knew the timer was gonna beep at me and I didn't want to turn the camera on and get startled, but I got startled anyway. Anyway, our hazelnuts are done. So we're gonna take them out. It smells like Nutella already, I'm just gonna be honest. Like, are we done? Hi, are you Nutella yet? No? Oh, what a disappointment. Next, just like when we did the whiskey hazelnut ice cream, we're gonna try to remove the skins by rubbing them Rubbing the rubbing our nuts with a towel. <laughs> You're a child. Grow up. Okay. I'm just gonna kind of weep. This could be bad. Oh no. Hot nuts. That was my stripper name. Two dollars for a lap dance. Ow. We're gonna rub our nuts with a towel until we get all the skin off. It doesn't matter if you succeed completely. That's just general life advice. Do the best you can. This is not enough paper towel. This is like succeeding at getting some of the skin off. You know what's a cool thing to do if you don't do the recipe quite right or you have like too much skin on your nuts or whatever? You just call it artisan. People can't fight you. It's artisan. That's what you're tasting. Authentic artisan hazelnut Nutella. Yeah. So 
a second. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't even think I got most of the skin off of these hazelnuts. Also, my paper towel broke and the skins went everywhere on my counter, so that's that's not that fun for me. Um, but anyway, we're gonna continue and we're gonna put all of our nuts into a blender, a high-speed blender. Excuse me, trash. Kind of like I was talking to myself for a second. Wow, you're so far away. Come closer. Great. Okay, we're gonna put all of our nuts in the blender. Also, we're gonna turn our oven down to 350 degrees. That'll be for our croissants. We're just gonna blend our nuts until they become not nuts anymore. Oh, turn your blender on. Okay, it says to blend the nuts until they turn into a, a butter, and which it has kind of. I mean, it's a dry butter, but it's better than what it was before. We're having so much fun. We're just gonna add all the rest of these ingredients and blend it till it's smooth like Nutella is what the recipe says. One and a half tablespoons of pure vanilla extract. I'm not joking you. This, I had exactly one and a half tablespoons of vanilla extract left. This recipe is meant to happen. One fourth cup plus two tablespoons of maple syrup. You saw nothing. One fourth teaspoon salt. This one's optional, but two teaspoons of oil if you want extra smoothness. I do, so I'm opting in. Okay, now we're gonna blend that all up until it becomes creamy like Nutella. <laughs> we gotta hurry because it's been like 40 minutes for our dough and you're not supposed to let it thaw longer than that. You know what I forgot? The cocoa powder for Nutella, which is a chocolate hazelnut. Oops, excuse me, I'm so sorry. A fourth cup of cocoa powder. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse moi. Okay, yeah, I think that's done. It tastes like, um, it tastes like, like a, a really not sweet Nutella. It's like just, it's like the flavor of Nutella if it wasn't sweet. Which I guess I could add sugar if I wanted to, but this is like the healthiest version of Nutella that I've ever tasted. Just making sure I don't have anything on my face that I'm gonna regret later in editing. All right, back up a little bit. Great, now we're gonna do the croissant part of this recipe and that should be easy to. The puff pastry has been thawing. I rolled out this one into what is supposed to be 10 by 16 inches, but when I rolled it, it like kind of just became a not a rectangle anymore. So, you know, there's that, and that's, I think, about as much as it can roll. Hey, can you roll with this? Oh, maybe, yeah, wow, okay, but we can roll a lot more. Then, we're gonna take a pizza cutter, we're gonna cut three rectangles like this, and then we're gonna cut into triangles like this. You see this? That's what I just did. So for this, since we're gonna have the croissants filled with Nutella, we're gonna put the Nutella on the wide part. Again, let me show you what it looks like. And then we're gonna roll from the wide part of our croissant all the way to the tiny part. My first croissant looks nothing like hers in the picture. It looks way better the way she did it. Mine kind of looks like an, an egg roll. Maybe that's the Filipino in me covered up. These are Nutella Lumpias now. Hopefully you enjoy them. Croissant number two, looking a little better. Looking a lot better. Okay, so I rolled up six Nutella croissants and six just normal croissants, and we're gonna see which ones we like better. Also gonna brush them with this mixture of one tablespoon almond milk and one tablespoon agave syrup. No, why did I, I just lied to you. Maple syrup, just maple syrup. Well, you could use agave if you wanted. You know what? Agave all I got. This is kind of like an egg wash without egg. We're gonna put them in the oven for 22 to 27 minutes. Excuse me. Okay, it's been 25 minutes. I heard the timer and then I forgot about it. My bad. Let's take these babies out of the oven, see if they're doing well, see if they love us, see if they want to taste good for us. Hello. Gross. This looks like poop coming out of a butt. I'm not being childish. It does look like that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Anyway, what was I doing? Oh yeah, taking out the other tray. Nailed it. Other than that, these look Great, these look not like the croissants I had in Montreal, but you know, for not having to try to do it, right? <sighs> Looks pretty good. Now let's see if they're tasty. Whoa, you look like you could be a croissant. Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Okay, so we have Pleased here. Pleased to be on the show. Great, uh, I'm talking. So we have here, uh, croissants and homemade Nutella. Uh, this croissant is filled with Nutella before it got baked that way. This one, you have to add it yourself. Should I try it plain and then add it or should I? 
Uh, I, or I should up, add it. You know, up to you. Do Nutella to, to start. All up to you. I gotta say, I'm not a big Nutella guy. Are I you a small there. Nutella guy? I'm a tiny Nutella guy. You're a tiny baby Nutella guy? I'm a little, little baby Nutella guy. Oh, that's flaky, bud. Yeah. Do you like your croissants flaky? I do. Yeah? Hell yeah. That's very dope. That's good. So that's tasty. That's tasty. It's yeah. tasty. It's tasty. Hey, don't brag. Okay, well, I got excited. Well, it's, it's kind of hard to mess up a croissant, don't you think? It, it's actually very easy to mess up a croissant. Yeah, no, I can do <laughs> I'm proud of you. This is good, man. Thank you. I did a lot of work. A lot of work. Why are you tweet? What's going on with what? your eyes? I don't know. Get some I had some crumbles yeah, from your mascara. Emotions. Mm. Mm. You like that? No, you're not a big Nutella guy. I not heard. the biggest Nutella guy. Here's the thing about Nutella. Mm -hmm. It flashes the flavor that I want in my mouth for like three seconds, and then it goes away. And then I'm left with this, this paste. But the flavor that I wanted, I'm like, oh yeah, there. Oh no, it's gone. Really? It's like. Do you ever have Bubblicious Bubblegum? Yeah. It's like that. Like you chew it for five seconds and the flavor's gone. The uh, initial flavor's good. Cool. So you like that one? Yeah. Does it taste like Nutella or does it taste like like better or worse? I'll tell you. It tastes freaking same, you know? It does? You know what I mean? Wow. Why? Did you make that one? I, yeah, I did. Oh, that's not like Nutella Nutella? No, it's a homemade Nutella. Oh. Wait, are you serious or are you just- I'm like, legit, I had no idea. I, you think I know? I have no, no idea. No, it sounded like you were placating when you were like, oh. <laughs> I'm 100% I'm right? serious. <laughs> it just I'm like sure it does, but I'm I can't being tell legit you're serious. With me. Okay, okay, now I try this guy? So Yeah. So that one- This is the one with, it's baked it's in. It's already baked. baked in. Like a turkey with stuffing, right? Sure. Mm. Oh, I'm a food critic, okay? Excuse me? I'm a food critic. So oh. We talking like this. Okay, what do you taste notes of? Oh, dang. It's actually way better yeah? than this. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. How deceiving. I thought it would taste dry. Nah, dog. Can it taste like Great. What? A croissant with Nutella in it. Which is good? Yeah. Okay. Because I wasn't sure if it's like bubblicious and you're like, oh no, I hate it. No, but the croissant part is what really makes it really good. Oh, I hell think. yeah. Try it. Here. Okay. I'll, I'll hold it. Oh, yes. Oh yes. Right? This is good. This is exactly what it tastes like. To me, the croissant tastes really good. The Nutella tastes a little bit like peanut butter to me. Yeah, very, but a very little bit, right? Very, very little bit. Of it's not as sweet as the store-bought Nutella because it's healthier, mm. um, but I kind of like it sweet. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of like it like way sweeter than this, but it's 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 really good as like a breakfast. You know, if it's not being eaten as a dessert as yeah. I normally eat Nutella, as a breakfast item, I think it's better less sweet because then it brings out like the croissant taste really good with it. It doesn't yeah. taste like you're eating cake in the morning. It's like a toaster strudel kind of. Sure. Franco's freaking right. spazzing out back there. Hold on, Franco's spazzing out, bud. You okay, Franklin, bud? Are you okay? Holy cow, dude. You chill, bud? Okay, he's chill. All right, go ahead. Oh, no, he's not chill. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. We gotta wait. Franklin, are you okay? You okay? Okay, he's chill now. All right, well, this tastes, this tastes really good, despite how much it tastes like peanut butter to me instead of Nutella. It does taste like Nutella. It just tastes like a light version of it. And um, anyway, <laughs> there's a lot of cats running around. Subscribe so you don't miss any of this. I'll see you next time. Bye.